Very hot oh, day. Why is it always when we go to Epcot, Jimmy. it's a hot day? I don't know. Does, doesn't it always seem like it that? Is. It always seems like when we come to Epcot, it's extremely hot. Very nice day. Beautiful day. Not a cloud in the so sky. So we'll be on 32. Walking from the parking lot. Today, <laughs> don't jinx it. What is today? The tenth. Uh, yeah. Yep. It's not summertime. We should be good. Yeah. Big up, cop ball. Well, last time we were here, it was kind of started raining. Oh gosh. J one, Joni. Actually, it says something down on the ground. Okay. I think it says 32. Epcot day, if you guys can't guess. We got Ratatouille's coming up. About an hour. Nice. Any of those joined? So I definitely like this without the statues. It's officially done. Tacos are completed. Store gates completed. Stage. Alrighty. A nice day at Epcot. Cody, mm. you pointed out something. I did. That's a big tree. That's a big tree. Did I take a picture with me in front of the big tree? Where'd you go? So now I got a picture with the big tree. Let's go. Thanks. You saved my trip. I don't see any other Christmas trees though. Do you? Um, well, maple soap popcorn. Maple popcorn. What do you think? Is it closed? No, they just said they plan on it. Maple soap popcorn. Just How is it? Oh, it's maple. One little. It's maple syrup. Maple uh, syrup. Maple. Maple, oh maple. my god. Mm. I want to try it. Is it good? I've got the oh, yeah, you haven't had it. Here, I'll hold it. Well, you can have it. I gotta get my sunglasses out of the way. Okay. You like it? Pretty good? I haven't tried you, it. You like it? That's a good sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. Very good. Here, are you gonna try it? Oh, well. You guys like it? Mm -hmm. The friend storyteller. Santa. Now we see a beautiful life. Pretty cool. But we're here to see a rat. First time back here. Skyliners. Hey, a group's called. Gustavs.
Gladiatory Adventure. First time on this. So we're on a rooftop. three stars. He should have more than three stars. Maybe because he has a rat problem. Uh, maybe he has a rat problem. That's why he has a three star. Fix that. There you go. Thank you. Now you're a first star. Oh, oh you lost it. <laughs> Is this a special recipe? Rats. Oh no, that's just how you get into the ride. The thing of the rides. Shrunk, huh? Look how big these bricks are. Big bricks. Alright, so this is one that we need glasses. So I probably will not film because it won't come through. See the third one's a rat. Hey, there's a rat. A munch is a doggy in the window. Woof, woof. He's just floating. The chef Daddy is waiting for you. This way. Qu'attendez-vous? Oh, here they are. Des invités pour le dîner. Yes, what to prepare? Huh? Oh. What did you think? There was a part that you totally got scared on. Yeah. You liked it? It was good. Carson, how'd you like it? It was good. You liked it? Guys, what'd you think? Good. Good? good? Really good. We liked it. So I think this is where you can really see the difference. How everything's big and then all of a sudden it gets small. Pretty good. I liked it. it. Wasn't bad. Better than anticipated. I didn't film it. Good thing, because you would probably broke a lot of your drums. Yeah. Yeah.
Well, I saw that. You didn't think it moved? I didn't show, another dude showed his face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, bonjour! bonjour! Anybody And as we say in my country, well. That means Merry Christmas! Now please come in a little, eh? Come, we are friends, are we not? Are you getting in charge of my team? Yeah, okay. Well, I do not fight. There's a kid in the room. Hey, bonjour! I'll push to know well. Now let me ask. Do you know who I am? No. Uh, some people call me Santa. We. Oui. I am known by many names around the world. But here in France, I am Le Père Noël. Father Christmas. I am the good spirit of this season. It is joy for me to see all of you in such good spirit. Now. I have another question for you. Have any of you, you want me to get the same oh, yeah, yeah, okay. have you ever written a letter to my brother Santa Claus in the North Pole? Hmm? You big people, you can admit this too. <laughs> well, in France, if a child writes a letter to me, Père Noël, and puts a return address on the envelope, the French government pays the postage on my reply. Not bad, eh? <laughs> I get so many letters. I would like to share with you one of my favorites. He come to me from a lovely little girl named Babette, who lives with her old Uncle Louis and her brother Francois on a farm near Le Beau in the mountains of Provence. A letter. I have a love of travel, and in my travels, I've learned that people in different the places one. and cultures celebrate Hanukkah in their own way. And now I get to share what I've learned with all of you. You know, a lot of people think that Hanukkah is this very serious and somber holy holiday, but that is not completely true. In fact, Hanukkah is the only Jewish holiday that is not specifically mentioned in the Torah, our holy book. Hanukkah is a joyful holiday, celebrating a victory and a miracle. It all began in 166 BCE, when a small band of Jews known as the Maccabees defeated the large and powerful Assyrian army, driving them from Jerusalem and reclaiming their holy temple. After the battle, the Maccabees rededicated the temple and relit the eternal candle, a candle that is required to burn in Jewish synagogues at all times. They only had enough oil to light the candle for one day. Yet by a miracle, the candle burned bright for eight days, long enough for a messenger to return with more oil. This is why we now celebrate eight days of Hanukkah. Now, during the eight days and nights of Hanukkah, families gather together, we eat, we sing songs, we eat, we exchange presents, and I mentioned we eat, right? On this day, children collect flour from their, oh no, I'm thinking of a different holiday. We specifically, we eat potato latkes and jelly donuts, foods that are cooked in oil to help us remember the miracle of the oil that burned for the Maccabees so long ago. We also light the candles of the Hanukkah, a nine-branched menorah like the one you can see behind me now. At sunset on the first night of Hanukkah, we start by lighting two candles, the center candle, which is called the Shamash, and the candle furthest to the right. The Shamash is the servant candle. It serves as a reminder for each of us to be a light. Joe was back. Wow. Look at her the Chinese one is the lion.
Yeah, it spits it out of its tongue. Living with land. We'll see how much. How much grims up, and we'll see how much the lighting is. Here we go. Crocodile. I learned to survive in these. I wonder if they taped uh, the use of what Star Wars here. I'm and kidding. The scorching rays of the relentless sun. Looks like a Star Wars scene. We're in New York. Suck the land. In our search go. for it made more it efficient back. ways to grow um, food, we often fail to right, realize right. the impact of our methods. Oh, hey. Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time ball. of the year. Hang that thing on the tree. What do you think I have? Dave, it's one of the big trees here. For some, it's difficult to imagine the holidays without winter and snow, but one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. For centuries, farmers in Central America have had to make the cow to make chocolate. They're just fact, doing what no man do. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy. <laughs> To celebrate, the the seven course seafood and shrimp, like the ones raised here, using our sustainable water systems, make up just some of the dishes served during this. Well, I might be coming through the lights in the United States. The tradition is known as the Feast of the Seven Fish. Hey, there's the fish presents. Winter, and much harder to find, making them an extra special stocking stuffer. During Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune. There's a rat. <laughs> they say it's better to give than to receive. And in this greenhouse, we're celebrating the holidays by giving back to the land using innovative farming techniques. By recycling water, we can give plants rich nutrients. By giving plants ladybugs, we're able to control pests and reduce the need for pesticides. And by growing ground plants vertically, we give them better protection from disease. Yeah. That's a hot pepper. Please. With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. This greenhouse alone grows a bountiful 15 tons of produce each year. When we give them, we receive making the most of the land's green gifts. I like the light to come down. Do you like eggnog? 
You can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. Other spices, like ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the land's many gifts. Even the fish are decorated. Well, and I have actually never seen a these greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners
lives inside of you today. Good night. Okay. Watching Homeowners Live is a lot better. But you have to be square on. If you're not square on, you don't get Storgate. I don't know. I like the music. Than I thought it'd be. Yeah? And the only thing I didn't like was the jungle book. The yeah. monkey was a bit weird looking. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get the other perspectives. Carl, what do you think? It was good. You like it? Yeah. Oh, I. Did you like it? Amazing. 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 Yeah. yeah. Totally different than anything. But if you didn't see the store gate, the big round circle thing, if you couldn't see that, would it be worth it? Because this is the only place you can see all of it. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, but if you were over there and you couldn't see it, would you? I want it right here. No, this is the place. Yeah, see, I think that's where. Well. you figure that out? Yeah. But yeah. I mean, it was so, like 360. Yeah. 180. Yeah, it's 360. So yeah, definitely better live than it is watching it. You like it better than entrapment, that's I good. Do too. Yeah. Some people like it. Some people like entrapment over this and some people oh, yeah. like yeah. entrapment. Yeah. Well homorning is over entrapment. But I also like the after party. The after parties, yeah. So the after party was a